The lunatic is on the grass The lunatic is on the grass A question to Mr. Obama. I can understand why you would have sealed your birth certificate records, being your father was born in Kenya and all that. Oh, and your real father, Frank Marshall Davis, was a communist and a pornographer. I get all that. I really do. So I can understand why you'd want to hide your jaded family background. But why would you seal your college records, especially if you attended a prestigious institute like Harvard? How does a guy who spent most of his days at Occidental College under the name of Barry Satoro, who admittedly had poor grades and got, quote, stoned out of my mind just about every day, unquote, as you put it, get into Harvard? You're the first one to point out that you came from a poor family. Your mother abandoned you as a child and sent you off to live with your grandfather or your grandmother who also wasn't a person of any financial means. So, just how did you accomplish that? Stoned out screw-ups with poor grades don't transfer from Occidental or any other college in the United States and get into Harvard or Columbia. It just doesn't happen. So, Mr. President, or can I just call you Barry, I am sure there are hundreds, if not thousands, of crack smoking, pot using, alcoholic, and academically challenged underachievers out there who would love to know your secret and have a shot at Harvard, too. Weren't you the guy who said we should share the wealth, that everyone deserves his or her, his or her fair share? If those records were released, would they reveal that you actually got into those institutions through some back door? or possibly through a foreign exchange program. We would love to know how you did this. Oh, and by the way, as commander in chief, I would imagine you have security clearances, probably top secret security clearances. In the most basic standard security clearance, you have to supply a birth certificate, college transcripts, service records if you have them, and a valid social security number. At a minimum. Oh, and not to mention drug testing. Do you think the American people deserve an answer to this question? Or does it just simply fall under the criteria of executive privilege? Are you still sleeping? Are you awake yet?